Hey guys, what's going on? It's Henry here. Uh, it's currently 7 a.m. and I can't seem to get any sleep, so I might as well talk about card fight and make a video. Uh, this, the morning is actually the morning of our first double circuit of 2016. Uh, by the time the video is up, I'm sure it's going to be way over by then. Uh, if I saw you guys, cool. Uh, if I didn't, I'll catch you with the next one, right? Uh, check out our Facebook to see when our next events are coming up. It should be every two weeks. And yeah, we'll see you around. Uh, but for now, uh, this video, I'd like to talk about the what I would like to see this year from Bushi Road and Cardfight Vanguard uh, in terms of what I, the direction I'd like to see the game go in, or maybe uh, some things I would like to see from the game, uh, at least by the end of this year. Uh, as of now, the Fighters Collection is coming out. Uh, a lot of decks are finally getting their staples, so every deck is catching up, every clan is catching up to each other, and that's cool. You know, everyone can play their favorite deck and have something strong that they want to play, but, you know, what happens from there? Uh, do the stronger decks just suddenly get that much stronger now, now that everyone else is caught up? Uh, you know, Diablo is a support that's coming to Shadow Paladin. Uh, everyone was probably dreading Shadow Paladin last year. Aqua Force now with Ripple, but Aqua Force probably won't get that much more support later on because they just got their extra booster. But anyway, uh, besides from all that, uh, the core thing that I wanted to talk about today in this video, uh, two things I'd like to see. Uh, one is a new mechanic that I would like to see added to the game, and it would be something along the lines of uh, Stride Enable. Uh, right now, something similar to that is attached to Grade 1s that are stuck to their respective uh, clans in Grade 3s. Uh, Lava Flow Dragon for Kagero, Black Hole Nakir for Angel Fever, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, they have an effect that says while it's in the hand, it has plus 2 when striding, basically making it a stride that's a grade one everyone knows that it's in a staple in essentially everybody's deck uh it's played in fours if not fours and three uh and that i feel like that takes up a lot of space in the grade one lineup uh for example uh i play angel fever so i would have to play four perfect guards for the stride enabler uh four no cl and then that leaves me two or three spots for an extra grade one, probably two spots, says you don't want to run too many. And I would have to be forced to play two ponies. And ponies are broken, and I want to play more of them. But is that something I should give up? Maybe. But if you introduce a mechanic that's stride enable, you could then attach it onto other cards. You could attach it to a grade two, for an example. So you can just throw away the grade two and stride. And, you know, some people will instantly think, oh, if it comes out as a mechanic, you'd play like eight or 16 of them. So you always are able to stride. Well, you can treat it like a heal trigger, maybe. Uh, put some text on it that says you are only limited to have four in a deck. So this way you can mix and match cards in your deck, have some versatility, maybe play three of the grade two versions if your clan doesn't have a really good grade two that goes along with what you're trying to do. And, you know, and when your deck has really good grade ones, you can play more grade ones instead of more grade twos. You know, it's like an even little sacrifice because if you play less grade twos that you want to commit onto the board, then you might not have as many attackers. You know, uh, as of now, I feel like there aren't too many grade one boosters anymore because there's so many grade ones that you want to hold into your hand. You want to hold your perfect guard. You want to hold some kind of special one. You just lack a lot of boosters, at least in the decks I play. Everything has to do something. And if they're done from the hand, you're not committing to the board. If you're not committing to the board, you die to random stuff. Like, um, I don't know, you die to uh, Diablo. Uh, or, and then it makes other decks useless not useless, but definitely not as strong. Kagero, if there's nothing for them to blow up on the field, or Gear Chronicle, if there's nothing for them to spin back, because you're not committing as much to the board, then obviously there's a preference to those that don't need that in order to be really strong. So I think that might fix a few things. And then later on, when everybody's caught up, everybody has their grade 1s, everyone has their grade 2s, 
maybe you can release a whole slew of them that have different effects attached to them. Uh, an example would be, uh, again, Angel Fever. If you stride enable with this card, grade one or grade two, you can swap a damage. Or for Dark Irregulars, if you stride enable with this card, Soul Charge one. Uh, you can attach it to specific archetypes so that they're not all generic. Uh, maybe that one would stick to an Amon, one would go to Celestial or something. Or you make a ton of generic ones and just suddenly add flavor to the game where people can just pick and choose the ones they really feel like doing. You know, uh, Some will obviously be better than others, I guess, but there's it at least opens up room for some versatility. And I think that's what's needed in a game where a lot of deck lists pretty much run the same cards. And that might be cool with some people. I personally enjoyed having my own flavor in a deck. So you can always have something to compare about. Uh, just something to talk about between your friends while you're playing. Be like, oh, I use that because I think I like this. You know, there's no wrong answer. You know, and I think, and I think that would be pretty good to the game. Um, another thing I would like to talk about is uh, the fact that Stride is the main gimmick right now. I feel like sooner or later I would like to see some anti-Stride mechanics. And, you know, everyone knows right now, at least a majority of people know, that staying on Grade 2 basically destroys a Stride deck. But some people have made it to a point like you can play all grade 2 decks, well not all grade 2, but majority grade 2 decks and no grade 3s, or um, you stay on your grade 2 forever and you play only like 4 grade 3s for certain decks like uh, Sanctuary Guard or something like that, because you know that when you stride, you basically win the game. And I don't think that's healthy, I think that's not a good thing for the game, uh, you know, or the infamous, not infamous, but 16 crit, Seeker, Paladin, all grade 1s where you, they just like, you know, go face and they just kill you because, and then you don't get to do anything. And you know, people don't like that kind of gameplay. Uh, it's going to happen anyway, because some people are going to make it, but I, that's not interactive. Uh, it's not fun. Games end in like three minutes maybe. And then, you know, if that happens at a regionals, you just sit around and you feel bad about yourself. Um, I want the game to promote just play between two people. Cause that's what you go to events for. That's why you go to locals. You don't go there to get mad. Uh, you might end up getting mad anyway, but that has nothing to do with the game, I guess, most of the time. Um, but yeah, and and even though the idea of an anti-stride is counterintuitive to the fact that I want people to interact with each other, or, you know, cards just to do stuff, um, it can be done in a way that can be fun and not limiting at the same time, you know? An example would be... Um, the recently we have a Cray Elemental, it's a grade two. It doesn't stop legions, but it just makes it harder to legion because you're forced to send back uh, non triggers in order for you to legion. You know, I think that's a good spin on it. It's not completely broken and it's not damning to legion decks. Uh, it's also not played because, well, you know, not too many people play legion anymore, even though Ripple. And uh, Cat Butler, I'm sure, will always be a thing at some point. Uh, as for anti stride, it all uh, again another example is uh, when cross rides were huge. Bushiro released uh, some cards. I think Grand Blue and Great Nurture got it. Uh, it's a 10k Grade Three that on Vanguard, if it's attacking, uh, I think 12 or 13 or higher Vanguard, it'll gain a plus 10,000. And again, that's something no one played because I guess one, they weren't attached to really popular clans at the time. And two, it's just not good. Um, they can release as many cards as they want that stop certain things, but if it's not fun to play, no one's going to play them anyway. Uh, and if you carry those cards, and then you happen to run into a deck that's not what you're playing against, like let's say you're playing against a, uh, you're playing a grade two deck, and you run into a limber break deck, and then suddenly you're like, oh man. I'm probably gonna lose if I, you know, don't chain and like machine gun crits out, and because they're just gonna get more advantage than you in the late game because they're just twin driving, and you're not, so you lose advantage over time, and you probably just end up losing. Um, so 
again, anti stride. Uh, what you can do is maybe make a grade three, or you know, make some grade threes that reward you for not striding and your opponent is. Uh, an example could be like maybe it says generation break zero, and or this is active if your opponent is generation one or higher and you're not, and you get a bonus for them striding. Um, you know, it doesn't, does it particularly just reward you for, I guess, playing the game? Like, it doesn't reward you for playing the game because it, you're making a deck that does not stride. Stride is a mechanic of the game. Striding is not the game. And, you know, I feel like getting to grade three is the main part of Vanguard, just like the old days. Um, and I think it should be like that, you know. You shouldn't try to cheese by staying on grade two. Uh, but, you know, it's it's a viable strategy. I'm not going to hate on it. But it's, I think, reaching grade three and then doing stuff around that is good. Um, I, it's just a better way to play the game, much more interactive with each other uh, the games should feel funner uh, and you know back to the grade 3 that rewards you for not striding maybe you can get certain bonuses you know uh, something like just power bonuses to your front row uh, royal paladins might get a call or something shadow paladin might get a crit something crazy not too crazy because then everyone plays anti-legion uh, anti-stride and um, well, and then I think that's adds variety to the game, you know. If you staple it onto a grade three, and you give them some vanilla effect with it, maybe an on hit effect, um, something like that, uh, you can play a stride and then a non stride, and then within your deck, you can have two completely different strategies, and I think that's a good thing, you know. Maybe play with it early if you have a if you have that grade three, you could just opt to not stride for maybe the first half of the game, and then you're still on grade three. Uh, that might be strong for certain decks, like uh, going back to Sanctuary. If your alternate grade three rewards you for not striding, then you ride Sanctuary Guard, and then you stride, and then I guess you win. But, uh, you know, it's an idea. Uh, I would like to see something along those lines being done. But uh, I think those it for now. Uh, if there's anything interesting you'd like me to talk about, or if you like any of my ideas, uh, comment, uh, like, subscribe, follow, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys around.